guys, so today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm just going to be doing my makeup for the day and I'm just going to chat with you along with it, give a lot of life updates. There's a lot of new things happening in my life actually and I feel like I haven't like told you guys any of it and it's, it's kind of weird. I just, I feel like you're totally out of the loop. So I'm here to get you back on track and let you know what's been going on and I like doing that because you guys are my friends and I want to feel connected, you know? But anyways, let's just get started with the makeup because I am ready to get this face makeup. So I already put moisturizer on and look at this huge pimple on my face. Like this just happened to appear. It's okay though. It's all good. It just hurts really bad. And it's like the kind that you can't pop. It just is like in there. I'm dealing with that, but there's bigger problems. <laughs> but for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Burt's Bees BB Cream. I really like this. The thing is, it's pretty oily, so if you have really oily skin, I would not recommend this. Um, but it does give pretty good coverage. I like it. Actually, for this video, I'm not going to really talk about too much of my makeup, actual makeup tips, because I, I want this to be like personal and more of like an update. Yeah, I'm just doing my makeup like while I'm updating you guys, so... Yeah, that's more what this video is than like a tutorial, if that makes sense. Okay, where do I start? So, I still do YouTube, you guys see. I post on here. I try to do it at least once a week. I know, I, I suck. I need to do it more often because I do love YouTube. Um, but I just, I need to post more. I really do. I don't know what, I don't know what my issue is, guys. But another thing that I've been doing is some Facebook page called Beauty Bible reached out to me, uh, I don't know, maybe like six months ago, they emailed me and they originally wanted my dad and I to do like a show on their uh, Facebook page. A lot of eyes are now on Facebook and Facebook actually generates a lot of views, which might be surprising, but it was surprising to me, but it, it really is true. And people are watching TV less, so they wanted to do little like kind of streams with YouTubers on Facebook and see how that went. So I tried with me and my dad, um, but the page is more directed at beauty. The two million people that have liked the page are into beauty, so I started doing like hair stuff, um, makeup videos, and stuff like that on Beauty Bible, and it's so cool. Pretty much I go live every single Thursday, and then a non-live video is posted. It's like a little one minute video. You know those things you see on Instagram that are like the one minute makeup or hair videos that are just like really interesting to watch? So I've been doing that and it's like totally different. I'm so not used to it because I'm used to doing YouTube and like not doing live streams. But if you guys want to check out Beauty Bible, I'll totally have the link for it. If you want to see me go live every Thursday, definitely check it out. Um, you can watch the ones that have, that have already been pre-recorded on my non-live videos. So that's what I've been doing. That's been taking up some time. So yeah, that's the first thing that I wanted to tell you guys about. Definitely check out Beauty Bible if you want to see me live. And there's other girls on there that do fun stuff too. So it's really cool. I like it and I'm really honored to be a part of it. It's like a super cool new opportunity that like I never would have been presented with if it weren't for YouTube. So I'm super grateful. Um, I got this today. It's the L'Oreal True Match Mineral Makeup. And you can use this as a foundation, but I think I'm just going to set my makeup with it today. Hopefully it doesn't make it too cakey. We'll see how it goes, and I'm going to use a brush that it comes with, even though this looks a little... I don't know how I feel, but... Okay. Because I really need a powder because this BB cream is like a grease cake. My one concern is that I don't want to look powdery. But I'll tell you guys how I like it. I actually... I like that. I'm going to have to try it just as a foundation. But right, moving on to bronzer, I'm just using my Hula bronzer. It's my fave. Also, I started a summer job. I'm working at a water park right by me. It's like 10 minutes away. I started it because a lot of my friends work there. And I never have had a job as like an employee. I started my YouTube in ninth grade before I could even like work. And so this is what I've been doing like my whole life. And I've just been working at like being my own boss, which is awesome. I think it's to totally the way to go. Like, But I just knew that when I'm like over 21, I'm gonna try to have my career established and my life together, you know? And I'm not ever gonna have the chance to like do a teenage summer job. And I'm like super nostalgic and really care about experiences and like I hate missing out on things. I have the worst FOMO, so I'm like, I am working at this water park. I get the experience of how a business runs. I get to be a part of it. Being an employee forced me to like wake up in the morning because I'm so used to like having to do it on my own. And it's so different. like. I'm only about two weeks into it, so we'll see how I like it as the summer goes, but right now I really like it. I actually think it's super fun because this is like so funny, but when I was little, 
even like a, literally a teenager, I was like, I just want to scan things and be a cashier. I want to work at the library so I can scan books. I want to work at Target so I can scan things. Like, I don't know. I've just always wanted to scan things. So like my family's making fun of me now. They're like, Emma gets to scan things. Even though I don't even scan anything, I'm just like, there's like sections at the water park. So like you sell the tickets, you sell the parking tickets. Um, what else? You sit at the front and let people in with their ticket. Um, oh yeah, and then you answer the phone. You have to answer the phone and answer all of the, the patrons' questions and it's the hardest job and they keep putting me on that job and like, I literally don't know anything. But you have to learn customer service. So it's been nice, like it's a good experience. I recommend you guys like try things and experience things that you know are gonna fade at some point. Moments that you're not gonna do when you're older. It's like, do it now because you're never gonna get the chance again. That was my perspective and like, I've been doing YouTube for so long and I love it. But I wanted like memories this year of like working at the water park because I'm so used to having the same types of memories. Like YouTube, 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 you, uh, I can't say that, whatever, all the time. So I wanted something like a little different and I also wanted to motivate me to like have my schedule super tight knit. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know how it's going so far. I was just hoping like the days that I have off, I would be like strictly YouTube and like really get all my stuff posted and YouTube comes first always. And if it doesn't work for me that well, in that regard, it's only for the summer, so that's good. Okay, so all the face makeup is done. I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Sorry that I didn't talk through that like literally whatsoever, but I'll have the products in the description. Something else that might go into effect, hopefully, is in January, hold on, I'm looking for my eyeshadow brush. In January, I went to this conference called the World Mission Summit, and pretty much it's with like my church organization and a lot of missionaries were there and the whole point is you go around and you like look at booths of all these different countries and you learn about missions and like the importance of it and how God calls us to missions like he literally says go and make disciples of all nations and so I feel like we always ask ourselves the question like is it my will to go in the mission field or do something for God and it's like you don't need to pray about it he actually he says it like he's it's everybody's will and you can do that wherever you are you don't have to go to a foreign country but obviously all the nations need to be reached and there's people that need to do that so so anyways it wasn't like i was super called to the mission field but i just had that mindset like why not like why not do it and at this age now i just feel like it's the perfect age when you're growing and like becoming an adult and i don't have kids yet i'm not in a relationship so i just feel like it's a good time to do it so I found this program called Engage and it will take place in Nicaragua and it's pretty much studying abroad while doing missions so you do online college or I'm thinking about just like pursuing um, like business and YouTube there but yeah you do that on the weekdays and then on the weekends you do missions work and also throughout the week you have discipleship so you're just growing as a person and there's like the lead missionaries there and then also people my age so there would be um, like there would also be other college students there and like I would make the closest friends probably like ever because you're in a foreign country together doing missions work and like trying to figure it all out just like a totally different stage of life and doing it together so I'm super excited about that it's definitely something that I've been praying about and trying to figure out the next steps and how to make that happen my channel could be transforming into something new in the next year so I wanted to update you guys on that but let me know your thoughts on it okay now I'm just finishing up my eyeshadow. I'm trying to think what else to talk about. So I have some like fun video ideas for you guys, but I want to get a lot more for the summer. So comment in the comments like what type of video you'd like to see for the summer. One thing that I have in mind is, um, well, I was going to say it, but like a lot of hauls just came to mind and I felt like I had to share that for some reason. Like I want to do a lot of hauls because those are my literal favorite things ever. And in the summertime, I can film try-on hauls because I can go outside because it's warm out. Then I'm also thinking about doing a modest swimsuit collection, like all like one pieces and high-waisted bathing suits because one, they're super in trend right now. And now I actually have so many like really cute swimsuits because they started making a ton of one pieces. So I'm super excited about it so I can do a video if you guys would like to see that on like my swimsuits and where I get them and what styles kind of fit best for each body type so 
If you guys would like to see that, give us a thumbs up and let me know. Is it just me or did this year fly by so fast? I cannot believe that it's summertime already. Like, what? I, every time I walk out of a place, like I walked out of the movies the other night and I'm so used to winter that I was thinking it was gonna be freezing out and me and my brother were like, it feels like Florida because that's like, we always just say like, it feels like Florida when it's hot out. And it's because I was stuck in winter for so long that I never thought some, summer would come. And now that it's actually here, like my mind's blown. I can't believe it. The lashes that I'm going to be using are from Kiss. And this is their, I'm pretty sure this is their couture collection. And these are in the style Bodeur, Bodeur, I don't know. So I'm going to put these on real quick off camera. Wow, okay, well that really um, amped up the look. Oh, these are huge. Look at these babies. I don't even know if I put them on right. Okay, now for the lips. Okay, I just grabbed any lip color. This is from Finding Ferdinand. Like, I made the shade myself. It's just kind of like a mauve, kind of purpley pink. It's super pretty. And it looks good with, like, black, so. There we go. Okay. I don't know about these lashes. Alright guys, so that was it for this chit chat. Get ready with me. I really hope you liked it. Like I said earlier, make sure to leave me your request in the comments. I'd love to do those videos for you guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. Okay, love you guys. Bye!